Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and we're now here for this matchup versus number 11 Arizona. We've been waiting all season for this, and they are probably the best team we are going to face. I thought it was going to be West Virginia, but look at them. They are 4-3 and three after beating us. But then look at our rest of our schedule. We have four games remaining, and this will pretty much decide who goes to the conference championship if everything goes right. We'll see. But we do have a surprise Heisman candidate in Tyler Nevins. I don't know how he's actually up here. 620 yards, 15 touchdowns. I mean, that doesn't really scream Heisman. And you look, he has two touchdowns receiving. 147 yards just look at jj taylor who we are going up against this week just look at him 90, 946 yards and nine touchdowns and then four receiving touchdowns and 358 yards i mean way better than tyron evans i don't know how tyron evans is either even on the list but then i started to look at something i was like wait wait i think i saw the injury icon come up and look at this he's hurt jj taylor is hurt so he's actually hurt probably for the rest of the season so I don't even know if he's going to finish on top of the Heisman anymore. And then on top of that, Rhett Rodriguez, their starting quarterback, is hurt. And he's done for the season. And on top of that, one of their best weapons on offense, Bryce Wolma, is hurt. So this is three key guys on their offense that are all hurt. So they have to lean hard on their defense and boy, do they have a defense led by 99 overall. Colin Schooler, he's a six foot 240 senior. And then they have Tony Fields, the second, another senior, 99 overall. They just are made of beasts. And then let's not forget Lorenzo Burns, another senior at cornerback. He's got 99 all coverage 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. Bruh. This guy is a shut down corner. And then on top of that, they have Kylan Wilborn, another Bruh. senior, 97 overall. They're going to look a lot different with all these seniors graduating. Maybe they'll just replenish, but man, do they have a bunch of playmakers. So let's just look at our stats going into this game. Drayvon Jennings, 14 touchdowns, eight interceptions, almost 2,000 yards passing. Actually not bad for a freshman. And then just looking at the rushing leaders, Tyler Evans, obviously 620 yards. He's leading the way, 15 touchdowns. Jay Taylor, I thought was going to get the ball more this season, but Tyler Evans is just doing work. So I really haven't had the need to switch them out at all. And I think he's doing pretty good in the passing game as well. So looking at our receiving leaders, Trey Walker's leading the way in yards. And I thought that Jamal Taylor would be closer, but he's actually not. He's still like 150 yards away. But then Carl Wolf is actually third, which is pretty surprising. I didn't expect him to be third in yards. But I'm really impressed by this offensive line. They have not given up many sacks. And usually the right tackle gives up a lot of sacks for me because I roll out a lot to the right. But Joe Johnson is just doing work at right tackle, only giving up two sacks this entire season. So let's just look at our defense really quick. Isaac Tagui is leading the way in tackles. No surprise there. But what is a surprise is that Andre Armstead is actually leading our team in tackles for loss, but not sacks. He's at three sacks, which would rank third on our team, but he's got 10 tackles for loss, which leads our team. I'm not surprised that Terrence Miller is leading in sacks. He did lead us last year with 10. And uh, Cameron Alexander is actually the surprise here. He's got five sacks. And those have all come within the last three games. That's kind of, uh, I guess he's just caught lightning in a bottle. But looking at the interception leaders, Nehemiah, Nehemiah Shelton's there. Uh, Trey Webb's there. Isaac Tagia all have two. And then some other guys have one. So I'm actually surprised Trey White doesn't have any inter interceptions. Hopefully he'll get them in this game. And here we go. We're underway on the road in beautiful Tucson, Arizona. I mean, this stadium is amazing, as you can see. As we walk onto the field, Tyler Nevins had a big game last game, three touchdowns. So here we go. We are starting out with the dual backs in the shotgun, giving the ball off to said Jay Taylor. And we were just talking about him. And he picks up a 13-yard gain to start this off. So first and 10. Here's a quick rush up the middle. And look at this. They are already getting to us. And look at that. Bruh. Didn't even get blocked by Bull that time. And he gives up 
a sack, and a third and 17. Quick throw across the middle, and look, it's knocked away by Colin Schooler. Man, that was a quick reaction. I thought I was going to fit that in there, but we punt the ball away on our first possession. So here comes the backup quarterback into the game over Rodriguez, and let's just take a look at Jamari Joyner. He is actually a pretty decent quarterback. I mean, he's thrown for a pretty good uh, ratio. He can run the ball as well. He's a dual threat, just like Rodriguez. So here is Joyner scrambling out to the right side, and this time he's picking up a gain of seven, and that's a first down. Actually, Rodriguez is more of a pocket passer, as here is Brightwell, the backup running back. He gets his first carry, and he picks up 19. And they breed running backs as well. Let's just take a look at Gary Brightwell. He's another senior, 87 overall, 89 speed, and he's going to be a beast. And here he is once again getting to the outside and getting inside the five-yard line. And maybe even he, as a backup running back, can make it into the NFL. Who knows? So first and goal. Here's a quick slant across the middle, and that's a quick score. Barry Hill gets in, and that's a touchdown and they take the 7-0 lead, this might be trouble. So here comes Tyler Nevins back out onto the field, getting a carry to start out the next drive, and he's getting a gain of eight up the middle. So second and two from the shotgun, play action fake, but throwing the ball across the middle, and Carl Wolf's got a lot of room up the middle, and he's picking up 40 yards up the seam, and what a quick strike. Look at that throw by Drayvon Jennings, the freshman. So a couple plays later here on a third and eight. Here's a throw out to Raheem Akusi. He picks up 11 yards. Remember, he's kind of down on our depth chart, but he's definitely going to be the future at slot. So on a second and six, here is a read option. This time, Drayvon Jennings taking it inside the 10 and picking up four for a third and two. Counterplay out to the right. And look at Jay Taylor breaking the tackle that time, and he gets enough for the first down. That's a nice clutch play that time on a third down conversion. So here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's getting in for the four-yard touchdown run, and Drayvon ties this up at seven as this explosive offense comes back out onto the field. So here is Brightwell starting out the next drive. He's got a lot of room and one man to beat, and Jonathan Leonard does bring him down, but that's a big gain for a first. So second and four, another big carry up the middle. He gives this time a huge stiff bar to Jonathan Leonard, it picks up 20 yards on that carry. So at the 28 yard line, first and 10, counter out to the right side this time. He's getting tripped up for four yards. I guess you gotta hold him to small gains as he's at 100 yards already off of five carries. What a beast. So here he is on a third down, getting four yards up the middle for another first down. So here is Brightwell this time. He cannot be stopped every tackle is just pretty much unsuccessful as he falls forward on each attempt. But take a look, he's down. So he might be hurt. As you can see, the backup running back is in the game, but Joyner on the next pass, no problem, throws it across the middle for the slant route for the touchdown. And that's two passing touchdowns on only three attempts. So now here on the next drive, here's Drayvon Jennings trying to get rid of the ball, but take a look. I mean, just in there right away, just runs right past our offensive line and forces us to throw the ball away. So second and 10, here is a throw out to the left side. He's got Matt Pollard who picks up a block, nice block that time from Trey Walker, 20 yards for Matt Pollard. So first and 10 at the 38 yard line. Here's Tyler Nevins, a big lane up the middle and that's gonna be 25 yards the longest run of the game, and you know what? That might be one of the top three longest runs of the season for him, and that's a first down. So a couple of plays later here on a third and 10, zipping it across to the right side of the field, and that's the arm strength of Drayvon Jennings showing it off to Matt Pollard, and here Jay Taylor eventually gets the carry up the middle, picking up two yards, and we've got ourselves a game tied up at 14. But we do get some news from the injury report. Gary Brightwell is going to be hurt for the rest of the game. So that's going to bring in Darius Smith. So they are down to their second string quarterback and now their third string running back. What luck they have had here in this season. But here on a carry, Darius Smith is picking up two yards. 
as he makes it a third and six. Throw out to the right side. This time, finding Adams is Joyner, and that's going to be a nine-yard gain for a first down. So here is Joyner. Hand the ball off to Smithy. He's got a lot of room up the middle, and he's getting a gain of 18 past the 50, and that is a first down. So first and 10, another carry out to left side. And look at this block. I mean, this offensive line is just athletic. You can just see they're having pulling guards, all types of running plays. Look at this. I mean, they got guys all over, but this time Caleb Oaks is there for the tackle. Finally a tackle for loss. So third and four. Here is Joyner throwing out to the right side, lobbing to his backup tight end. That's Jamie Nunley for 20 yards, who's actually getting playing time due to their senior quarter, uh, tight end being hurt for the season. So here is Smith on the next play. That's 10 yards up the middle, and they pick up the touchdown. So now they're up by seven here with three and a half minutes left in the first half as here is Drayvon Jennings diving forward for a gain of 10. So first and 10, running the jet sweep this time. That's Carl Wolf in motion. Draymond Jennings is going to get out of the pocket. He's going to find Raheem Akusi for eight yards. So two and a half minutes left here in the second quarter. Here is Tyler Nevins picking up a gain of four. And after that big 25-yard run, we haven't had much room to run the ball. I mean, this defensive line is really good. But here is Trey Walker picking up a gain of 14 on that catch. He holds on to it while taking a big hit. And he moves the chain. So here's Akusi getting another catch on that one, 10 yards. So now we're set up at the 20 yard line. Hand off to the left side. And this time, Tyler Nevins can't get anywhere. And that's a loss of one. So now, third and 11. 30 seconds left in the half. Here's Trey Walker getting open. He takes a huge hit. But that's a first down inside the 10. First and goal, handoff up the middle. Here's Tyler Nevins. He's using his body and his frame and forcing his way into the end zone. And that's going to be a touchdown. And that's going to be 21 up. What a half. Just keeping up with Arizona is tough. So here to start the second half, Arizona does start out with the ball. And here is Smith to start it out. And he's getting a huge lane to the left side. And, man, this offensive line is just blocking the mess out of our D-line. As here is Smith, another carry up the middle, and he picks up another gain of 10-plus yards. I mean, how many carries has it been that they've picked up at least 10 yards? But gotcha, here is Joyner bitch. this time trying to scramble out to left side. He can't get away from Caleb Oaks, who's actually having a pretty good game. So second and 10, this time we're setting a blitz and this time Isaac Tagia is gonna get to him for the tackle for loss. So third and 14, this time running the screen pass out to the left side and there's Tagia again. Big hit on Smith and we're gonna force our first punt of the game. So here on a first and 10, here is Drayvon Jennings on the next drive. He's gonna find Jamal Taylor, his favorite target from last game. Haven't seen him much in this one. That's his first catch. But look at this. This actually comes against their star quarterback. Remember, we highlighted him before the game, 99 coverage. And Jamal Taylor with the great polishing route running. As here he is once again beating the cornerback once more and picking up 23 yards. So now we're past the 50-yard line. Quick throw out to the right side. We got to use these quick throws because this defensive line is in there right away. And that's another first down. So here they are once again, getting through the line, but we're getting rid of it. Carl Wolf for a gain of 16, and we're set up inside the five-yard line. A couple of plays later here, third and three. Lauren running the re-option in that time. Woo, Drayvon Jennings walks into the end zone. We needed that touchdown. And now we are in the driver's seat up by seven. So here is Joyner, this time scrambling out to the right side. He's taking a huge hit. And that's Trey Webb on that hit. I'm surprised he held on to that one. So a second and 10. Another carry out to the right side. Oh, my goodness. I mean, how many big runs are they going to get in this game? And that's another first down. So they run the same exact play. But this time, Terrence Miller's there for the stop. And that's a loss of four. And now we get him to eventually a third and seven. Here is Joyner from the shotgun. He's going to throw out to the left side, and that's not even close to the first down marker. 
and they line up for the very long field goal here. And look at that kick. That's not even close to the goal post, and that's going to be – it's going to set us up a pretty good field position. So now here we go on the next possession here, throwing a deep ball to Junior Fioka. And we had one-on-one -on -one coverage, maybe had another guy open on the left side of the field, but that one is almost picked off. So now third and 10, here's a perfect lob over the middle. And that's Billy Humphreys, 15 yards, his first catch of the game and a first down. So now running the read option, that time not going to work. That's Tony Fields, one of the 99 overall guys. So third and 12, here is Drayvon Jennings. This time faces some pressure and he can't get away. I mean. This pass rush is just lethal. J.B. Brown there for his second sack of the game. And we had to punt the ball away to this Arizona offense. But they keep trying to run this same play. This time Michael Cummings sniffs it out. And he gets his first tackle behind the line. So second and 14. Here is Joyner throwing out to the sideline. This time finding the backup tight end Nunley. And he's picking up 10 but forcing a third and five. Here's Joyner throwing out to the middle of the field. Once again, that's Nunley, and he's picking up 11, and that's another first down. So six minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Here is Joyner scrambling out to the right side. He's picking up a gain of two, and we eventually get him to a third and eight. Screen pass out to the right side. This time to Smith, but this time Isaac Tagui is going to be there once again for another clutch tackle. Our leading tackler and our junior leader, He's having himself a phenomenal year. And here is Trey Walker out on the next drive, this time after the punt. And he's picking up a gain of nine. So here's Tyler Evans this time getting the carry up the middle. I thought I had a lot of room on that one, but somehow he only gets a gain of two. So now we eventually do keep running this Brock. And we do pick up a gain of eight. As you see, the time on the clock keeps going down with each carry. So now here's Jennings this time on a pass play. We throw out to the right side, and that's a one-handed oh catch God. by Matt Pollard. Take another look. He's standing still. When the ball's thrown, he reaches out and grabs it one-handed. What a catch by Matt Pollard. So now first and 15 after a holding call. Here is a slant route across the middle, and that's a perfect release from Trey Walker, and that's a gain of 21 and wow, what a throw by Drayvon Jennings. Perfect touch. So we do try to run the ball here on third and four. Wow, Tyler Nevin just got lit up on that one. And that's Tony Fields again. So now they're down by 10. We do settle for the field goal. Here is Joyner back out onto the field, throwing the ball across the middle. He's finding Reed, but there's only a minute left on the clock, and they have no timeouts left. So can we keep everything in front of us here on a first and 10? Here is Joyner throwing out to the right side. Going to find Barry Hill, but he's going to get tackled by Tyson Parker before the first, so they lose a lot of time off of that clock. So now a third and inches. Here is Joyner throwing out to the sideline. This time it's going to be caught by Cooper, and that's going to be a gain of 15. Now they're inside the 30. So 20 seconds left in this game. Here is Joyner from the shotgun. Clean pocket, gonna step up and throw on the run. He's gonna find Marcus Jr. And he's getting inside of the five yard line. So now 10 seconds left in this game. Can Joyner score and get a quick onside kick and maybe a Hail Mary? Nope, he gets sacked. And that's gonna be it as time is going to run out. That's Tyson Parker on that sack, teamed up with Terrence Miller to end the game. And just like that, we go on the road and beat one loss, Arizona, with that defense that was just a juggernaut. And this was not an easy game. I got to admit, this was the hardest game probably we've played because I actually struggled on offense. I mean, the numbers don't really say that. I didn't really turn the ball over. But I definitely did struggle on offense. And that running game, I gave the ball to Tyler Nevis 19 times. And that just shows, you know, that one long run, the gain of 25, that was pretty much all we could do on the ground. But we do eventually hold on to win this game. Look at Isaac Tagia. Look at the game that he had. 11 solo tackles, 12 tackles total, and nobody else had more than four. I mean, that's just incredible. 
but I did like the production I got from Caleb Oaks this game. We definitely needed it as, you know, they ran the ball pretty well on us, but we did enough just to get it done, but their running backs ran for over 200-something yards easily, and Jamari Joyner actually didn't even pass for 200 yards. I'm actually pretty surprised at that. But we do hold on for the victory, and this pretty much puts us into the driver's seat. If we can win, keep winning these games, we're definitely going to be in the conference title game already in our first season in the Pac-12. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I kind of wanted a more of a challenge here, and we're kind of running through this side of the division and the rest of the conference. We do have that one loss, but it was versus West Virginia. But we do get the victory. I don't want to pout about that. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.